So this question is a simplify question. Simplify questions are typically very short, somewhere between one and three lines long. And they contain either an expression, like we have here, or an equation. I also noticed that the answer choices and the question all contain variables, in this case x, which means I could technically use another strategy called plug in your own number. I don't think I will use that here, but I'll at least show you how to use it um, after I just use a simplify method here. So the question says, which expression is equivalent to, and I'm going to just rewrite this expression, 2x to the fifth power times x to the third plus 5x. So to simplify this, I'm just going to distribute this 2x to the fifth across the parentheses. So the first one is 2x to the fifth times x to the third, and that would be 2x to the eighth, because we just add the exponents. Secondly, I'm going to multiply 2x to the fifth times 5x. So this is going to be a positive 10x to the sixth, again, because we just add exponents. And if there isn't an exponent on a variable, we can pretend that there's a 1, right? There's an invisible 1 there. So here's my answer. So that is choice C. And this is the preferred way to do it. So if you're not too great at knowing what to do by multiplying terms that have exponents, please do brush up on that. The only reason why I would ever suggest using plug in your own number for this question is if you did not know how to do this. And I have some time on this video, so I'll just go ahead and show you. So typically when I'm plugging in my own number, I like to say that the number is equal to two. So I'm gonna say X is equal to two. I like to keep it small. So if X is equal to two, I'm gonna plug that into my original question. I say that, well, that becomes two times two to the fifth, parentheses, two to the third, plus five times two. Just replaced all those X's with twos. Two to the fifth in your calculator will be 32. 32 times two is 64, so the number out here becomes 64. Two cubed is eight, and five times two is 10, so eight plus 10. So this becomes 64 times 18. And again, in the calculator, you can figure out what 64 times 18 is, and we get a number. Now that number, and I'll just use, I'll say like that represents the number, that number then becomes the solution to the question. And now the only thing left for you to do to continue on with the plug in your own number strategy is to plug x equals two into each answer choice. Right? So you plug it in to A, you'll see that that does not give you, right? it does not give you the same number that we got here. When we try B, you'll also see that that does not give you the same number that we got when we plug two into the original question. But C, for choice C, you will see that it gives you the exact same number. So that's how you use plug in your own number. Again, I don't advise that here, but if you're the type of person who just really hates multiplying with exponents and not remembering the rules there, then knowing that this strategy is available to you could be very useful and might allow you to get a question correct that otherwise you would not have.